Welcome you to your YouTube channel Technically Explained. In this video we are going to study working and output characteristics of the enhancement type MOSFET. So construction wise enhancement type MOSFET is largely similar to the depletion type MOSFET except with one difference that there is no channel in the enhancement type MOSFET. So the channel is absent in the enhancement type MOSFET. Also, the transfer characteristic curve is not defined by Shockley equation for the enhancement type MOSFET. The transfer characteristics for in case of junction field effect transistor as well as in case of depletion type MOSFET was defined by Shockley equation. But in case of enhancement type MOSFET, transfer characteristics is not defined by Shockley equation. Enhancement type MOSFET is normally in off condition that is normally in open condition it normally operates in cutoff region where the drain current or the output current is zero we will explain this in the coming slides the current control in the n channel enhancement type mosfet is now affected by the positive gate to source voltage current control means the output current control or the drain current so the drain current control in the N channel enhancement type MOSFET is now affected by the positive gate to source voltage rather than the range of negative values encountered for the N channel junction field effect transistor and N channel depletion type MOSFET. If you remember in case of N channel junction field effect transistors and N channel depletion type MOSFET range of the negative values of the VGS that is the gate to source voltage Con used to control the drain current but now the positive value of the gate to source voltage will control the gate will, will control the drain current in case of enhancement type MOSFET. So let us start the working of the enhancement type MOSFET. Before starting the working of the enhancement type MOSFET you need to remember some important points. Because of the construction and physics of the enhancement type MOSFET that is because of no channel because of absence of channel there is a minimum gate to source voltage which is called the threshold voltage that must be applied to the gate before the enhancement type MOSFET starts to conduct before we have drain current in the enhancement type MOSFET. So we need to apply a minimum voltage which is, which is called the threshold voltage to the gate terminal to, to, to induce a channel in enhancement type MOSFET to allow conduction in enhancement type MOSFET to allow the drain current to start flowing in enhancement type MOSFET. So an enhancement type MOSFET does not conduct when the gate to source voltage is less than this threshold voltage. That is why it is called the normally off or normally open transistor. So remember that we need to apply the minimum gate to source voltage called the threshold voltage to form the channel and to allow enhancement type MOSFET to conduct. So to allow enhancement type MOSFET to conduct we need to apply minimum VGS which is, which is called the threshold voltage. Now I have divided the working of the N channel depletion type MOSFET into three portions. Again, we are going to study the working of the N-channel depletion type MOSFET just as we studied the working of N-channel junction field effect transistor and N-channel depletion type MOSFET. Because once we understand the N-channel enhancement type MOSFET, P-channel enhancement type MOSFET will also be very easy to understand. So I have divided the working of the N-channel enhancement type MOSFET into three portions. For the VGS is equal to 0 volt, for the VGS is equal to some positive value but less than the threshold voltage. And for the VGS again equal to some positive value but this time greater than the positive voltage. And for all these cases the drain to source voltage that is the output voltage will be positive. So let us start the first condition. As again you can see over here that there is no channel between the drain and source terminal so we have absence of channel between the drain and source terminal now for the first condition when vgs is equal to zero volt and the vds is equal to vdd some positive value so for v to make vgs is equal to zero volt i have connected the gate and source terminal together and i have connected it to the ground so now we have the vgs is equal to zero volt condition 
whole field and then for the VDS is equal to VDD I have connected some positive voltage over here. So now VDS is equal to 0 volt and the VDS is equal to VDD which is some positive voltage. Because we do not have any channel because of the absence of channel we will have no current flow that no current flow that is drain current will be zero id in this case will be zero because we have no path for the flow of current because we have no channel for the flow of current we can understand this by analogy for example here there is one person and here there is another person and these two persons what wants to communicate with each other now we know that from, for communication we need sound waves and sound waves need a medium for propagation. Now let's suppose we do not have a path for the propagation of sound waves. We do not have a channel for the propagation of sound waves. We only have a vacuum over here. When we have vacuum over here, no matter how hard these two try to talk to each other, how loud they may sound, they will, the, these two will never hurt each other because sound waves will not propagate because there is no path for the propagation of sound waves because of the absence of channel. Similarly over here there is no channel for the flow of electrons that is there is no path for the flow of electrons. So even if we apply the positive voltage there will be no path for the flow of electrons. So even if we have a positive voltage over here this is not going to affect this uh, this is not going to enable the current flow why because we have no channel over here that is we do not have any path for the flow of current so in case of the vgs is equal to zero volt because of the absence of channel we have no current flow that is drain current is equal to zero milliampere or ampere and the enhancement type mosfet is in off condition of condition. Next case when the VGS is equal to 0 volt and VGS is less than the threshold voltage and VDS is equal to VDD some positive value. Again I have connected some positive value over here so this terminal will be positive and again the VGS will also be positive so I am going to have some positive voltage over here. Now both VDS and VGS have been set at some positive voltage greater than zero. So both drain and gate are at positive terminal with respect to source as you can have a look. Both gate and drain terminal are at positive voltage with respect to source. Now this positive voltage will pressure the holes in the P substrate along the edge of this SI2 layer. This is my SiO2 layer silicon dioxide layer so the positive potential will pressure the holes in the p substrate along the edge of si2 layer to leave this area and enter deeper regions of the p substrate as you can have a look the positive potential is pressuring the holes to leave this area and enter deeper regions of the p substrate at the same time the electrons in the p substrate will be attracted to the positive gate. The electrons in this P substrate will be attracted to the positive gate and they will accumulate in the region near the surface of SI2 layer. So they are going to accumulate in this layer but because SI2 layer is an insulating layer it will not allow electrons to be observed at the gate terminal. So the positive terminal will also attract electrons and the electrons will be attracted towards here and they will be accumulated in the region near the SI2 layer but they will not be observed by the SI2 layer because of the insulating properties of the SI2 layer. So that positive terminal has pushed holes into the deeper regions of the P substrate and has attracted electrons to come to the to, to come to the region near the SI2 layer. But in this case because VGS is less than the threshold voltage so the strength of VGS is lower so this positive voltage doesn't have much strength 
and that is why less number of electrons are accumulated. So here we have less number of electrons accumulated and because of less number of electrons accumulated, these accumulated, these uh, less, accum less number of accumulated electrons are not capable enough to generate current between drain and source. So still we do not have the drain current generated. We still don't have the output current or the drain current generated. So in this case also we have drain current zero and the MOSFET is still off. So we still have the drain current is equal to zero milliampere and still the MOSFET is off. So the positive voltage has pushed holes to the deeper regions of the P substrate and has also attracted electrons to the to, to near the SI2 layer. But because less number of electrons, because the strength of the VGS, because the strength of this positive gate voltage is lower, so it will going to attract less number of electrons. And because of the less number of electrons, we will not have, because of the less number of electrons, the electrons will not be capable enough to generate current between drain and source. So still the drain current will be zero and still the MOSFET is in off condition. Now finally for the third case, when the VGS is equal to zero volt, when the VGS is greater than zero volt and VGS is greater than the threshold voltage. And again, VDS is equal to VDD some positive value, which is for the all three cases. Now, as VGS increases in magnitude, the concentration of electrons near the SI2 surface increases. So again, this positive voltage will again push holes into the deeper regions of the P substrate and will attract electrons. So as a result, more and more electrons will be attracted as the magnitude of VGS is increasing. Until eventually, until eventually the induced n-type region can support a Meyer river flow between n drain and source. So now because the magnitude, we keep on increasing the magnitude of the VGS, that is we are making this gate terminal more and more positive, we are increasing the strength of the gate terminal, so it will so it will attract more and more electrons and as a result we will have an induced channel over here we will have an induced channel over here because of the greater number of electrons and now because we have greater number of electrons now there will be some drain current as you can have a look the induced n type region can now support a measurable flow between drain and source and the level of VGS that results in the generation of this drain current is called the threshold voltage denoted by the VGS. So when VGS becomes equal to the VDL, VTH, there will be more number of electrons attracted near the SI2 layer and we will have induced and we will have induced channel between drain and source and the result current will flow between drain and source which is the drain current. And the level of VGS that results in the generation of this drain current is called threshold voltage denoted by VGS. Now since the channel was not existent for the VGS less than the threshold voltage, there was no channel for the VGS less than the threshold voltage and enhanced by the application of positive gate to source voltage, this type of MOSFET is called enhancement type. MOSFET. So that is why it is called enhancement type MOSFET because we do not have any channel for the VGS less than the threshold voltage and after the VGS greater than the threshold voltage, we the channel was enhanced, the channel was induced, that is why it is called the enhancement type MOSFET. Now after the threshold voltage, if we increase further in VGS further, the gate to source voltage further, this gate will become more and more positive and the result more number of electrons will be attracted near the SI2 layer. As a result, the drain current will increase more. Now let's make VGS greater than the threshold voltage and make it a constant and start increasing the VDS. If we start increasing the level of the drain to source voltage, that is the VDS, the drain current will increase and eventually a stage will reach where we will reach the saturation level as occurred for the junction field effect transistor as well as the depletion type MOSFET. And this saturation level is reached because of the pinching of process. How? We will explain it over here. Now again I have the gate to source voltage get greater than the threshold voltage and we have made it a constant value. And we start increasing the voltage VDS. So, I can make this VDS or the VDD as a variable source. 
so what is happen what will happen is that if you uh, find the vdg voltage that is between the drain to gate voltage you will find that this is equal to vds minus vgs because source is grounded so this will be equal to vds minus vgs and for example i make the vgs constant to 8 volt and i increase the drain to source voltage from 2 to 5 volt when i start increasing the drain to source voltage from 2 to 5 volt the voltage vdg will increase from minus 6 volt to minus 3 volt and gate will become less and less positive with respect to the drain so as i increase this vds or the vdd and vds is equal to vdd as i increase this vds the gate is becoming less and less positive with respect to the drain so that's why because the gate is becoming less and less positive with respect to the drain that's why we have a narrow channel near the drain terminal as compared to the source terminal so as the value of the voltage vds or the vdd will increase the difference between these two voltages will reduce the difference between these two voltages will reduce more specifically the the gate will become less and less positive with respect to the drain on the other hand because source is grounded so potential difference between gate and source will remain at it is so the potential difference between these two will remain at it as it is but increasing because of increasing vds the gate terminal near the drain will become will, will be less positive near the source side so the gate terminal near the drain side will attract fewer electrons as compared to the gate terminal near the source side so here the gate terminal is going to attract this number of electrons and here the gate terminal is going to attract more number of electrons why because the as vds is kept on increasing the gate the the uh, the gate is becoming less and less positive and as the gate is becoming less and less positive it means that the gate can attract less number of electrons from the p substrate near this region as compared to the this region so that is why the gate terminal near this drain region will attract fewer number of electrons as compared to the gate terminal near the source side because source is grounded so because of this channel gets narrower as we move from source towards drain terminal and we, if we keep on increasing this voltage vds we will reach the pinch of condition and in pinch of condition even if we increase the vds the id current will remain constant so on further increasing vds the id current will remain constant level of vds at which the pinch of our saturation occur occurs is called vds saturation and vds saturation is given by vgs minus vt where vt is the threshold voltage so for a fixed value of vp the higher the level of vgs the higher the level of vgs the greater is the saturation level for vds as evident from this equation